All right, Tiny Nest community, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Yes, it is currently Saturday. Please be safe out there. Have fun with your family, your friends. Enjoy the day because even in crypto, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Green all around, about one or two, maybe three little projects. Nothing really major difference. But for the most part, we are having an amazing time for the green side of Tyne X and the protocols. I'm going to tell you what I'm planning to do, or at least what I've been doing, actually, because I already did a few swaps already. Yesterday was freaking amazing. I did like two live streams, each of them having about averaging about 150 viewers. Amazing, man. It was just so much fun having you guys there and just enjoying the moment and getting in some alpha content. Now, Titan X is at six zeros and an eight one. Everything else followed. Uh, what should I show you guys for? Let's do a little bit of uh, TA to start the video, right? Quick little one. So we bounced perfectly from this resistance line. I love how on Twitter or on X and whatnot, um, I saw like two or three different people out there, Trader Lee being one of them, the verse being one of them, and I think I saw like an extra one. Each of our styles of the technical analysis was a little different. Like they use, you know, the 200 and the 50, or they use um the fibonacci retracements it's a bunch of ways to be able to do a ta you just have to find your style it's kind of cool though because if you watch each and every one of their technical analysis and mine we all agreed and found that this support level was there around that five one ish area as well as for the rsi being on the oversold territory so a bounce was inevitable it was pretty much due so that's exactly what happened on the candlesticks. We closed above the support line, which was great. That was such a great sign. And now we bounced up and look where we just got rejected from. This yellow line is the new uh, resistance, right? Since we broke that one, it became now resistance. This became support. So we went from this support all the way up to this resistance line. The wick actually got super close um 8732 i was saying it was going to reach to 81 to 82 and potentially have a little pullback now it, it had enough buy in the the volume the buy volume and enough people momentum for this to send it a little higher so this right here is the next one which of course is 8881 be keeping an eye out for that specific number Hopefully tomorrow we manage to pull it on through and break through it. Watch it because if we pull, if we pull out, uh, pause, if we manage to push upward and go above this and the candlesticks close above that 8881, it's going to start looking very bullish, like a next level bullish in which this same scenario can just easily copy and paste, okay? No promises, no guarantees. This is just literally a full-on prediction. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't care. Uh, we could also, another scenario is get rejected from here and pull back down and retest this low the um support level of around the 5172 area and do a retest if that holds then we can just ping pong back and forth from this channel right here so this overall it still looks great man i hope you guys took advantage of the cheap tie in x if you listened up members as well if you listen to the to the targets to dca you should be in a really good position so what am i doing with my um Profits, pretty much profits. Because what I did is I bought a lot of Tyne X in this 5-1 area. And I even got into a lot of the protocols. Um, I'm, I'm up really good on Morphe. Oh, actually, I took profit. Uh, not a lot. But I took a, a little chunk out of Morpheus at around 2-1 two, two or 2-2. Two, two, something like that. What was the highest it went? I'm actually, I think I might have been gone really lucky and taken a little portion. Oh my goodness. This went all the way up to three. Whoa, I did not, I did not even know that. That is incredible. Shout out to Morpheus, yo.
members are probably really happy right now with them gains too. So I I took a little bit of profit from Morpheus. I'm I'm going to be using only profits from these tokens, okay? For me to get into more scale. That's my play right now. Yeah, I got into Legend X at 3-3 three, because three, I don't know if you guys remember. Um, I made a video saying like the 3-3 three, three, three area was a great price to get into because of right here popped here it popped and then back and it's just back and forth right and then i got back here around three four three three to three four area somewhere around here i got in again i alerted it to for the members channel and i'm up not bad almost a two what is it almost a 2x so i'm going to sell um a small uh majority of legend x and use only profit again and grow my position in scale. I also got into Viper at 0078. Some something like that. I did so many trades so quickly. I don't even remember the exact averages. So bear with me. Um, I got into Viper. I'm up on that too. Um, I bought the dip, man, like crazy. Everything was down negative 40%, negative 50%. So 70%, right? So it was the time to buy because... All this was signaling me a bounce. So I took the risk and I did it. So I'm using all play money now to grow my position in scale. And I already got like a good chunk. I did see somebody on Twitter was like, show proof. Show, uh, take a screenshot. Um, show us that you're actually getting in. Bro, come on. Like, I don't have to do that. Like, I, I shouldn't need to do that. Like... It gets so frustrating and annoying. You watching, uh, if you've been watching me for a hot minute already, and if you're subscribed for quite a while, you would know that whenever I say I'm getting in, I'm getting in. Like I tell y'all I'm getting a big bag or I tell y'all I'm getting a small position. I'm honest, I'm transparent, and I show you guys everything. Like for example, for Lotus, I told you guys that I got a big position. I bought like $2,500 worth of miners of Lotus in the very beginning because I traded it and I made a lot of money off of it. Um, and I did it on my one of my main wallets, right? I don't show my main wallets. I only show my dummy wallets for YouTube purposes only. Okay, that's it. I don't show my main wallets. Um, so then I had to, because I already knew how the comments were going to be or some comments where they're going to say that uh, I don't, I don't do the things that I say, that I only try to tell the members up to pump up my bags, all that craziness. Like social media is, and and Twitter and, and YouTube, and there's some few people that are like that. Not everybody, but there's a selected few. So I had to go onto my dummy wallet, send over some funds, and start, I think I did like $500 worth of miners on my dummy wallet to show on YouTube for a video that, to prove that, hey, I got in, here is proof. So now people, uh, one, one, I think it was just one comment, one post that was like, hey, show, show proof that you're getting to scale. Bro, that shit just gets annoying. But I, I did get like a good bag. Um, <laughs> I'm probably a little more than I should. But like I said, I'm pretty much using profits off of these positions. And I'm only using um, profit money to get into scale. And I don't see why not. Uh, one one or two little things that I do want to um, make sure you guys understand, okay? One, whenever you go onto the scale website, it's app.babydragonx.win. Make sure it's the official one. Second, please create a dummy wallet whenever it comes to doing this. It's very, very important for that. Uh, it, you can get into any, da any new dApps, and I want you to create a new wallet. You may never know what can happen. Anything could happen. I don't want you to lose your funds or get hacked or get scammed or some one way, shape, or form. Okay, I'm trying to take care of you guys, and I want to make sure you succeed in crypto. So make sure you make a dummy wallet whenever investing. Third, whenever you put insert, whenever you connect your wallet and insert the amount, this is an amount of scale you want to buy, not an amount of Ethereum or the amount of Tynex. It's the amount of scale tokens you want to buy. So if you want to buy, let's say 1.2 million scale, it will cost you Tynex worth of 1.2 million. 
if you're going to buy Ethereum, you keep this the same. You don't put that, you don't put 0.01 ETH or whatever. It, you're just going to switch this off and it's going to convert it automatically to whatever ETH is going to cost you. For example, 120 million is going to cost me 0.031 ETH. Okay. Make sure you have enough uh, Ethereum transactions, uh, en enough Ethereum fees in your wallet for the transaction. Uh, lastly, that the very important thing I want to point out is if you decide to buy with Titan X, let's say you only have a hundred exactly 120 million Titan X, there will be instances because it has happened um, a couple of times already with a few of you guys and a few of members on Telegram and all that that say that the transaction keeps failing and that it's not going through and, and it keeps like having an error. The reason why that happens is because if you have exactly the same amount, it won't take it. You literally have to do like a million tokens under your, your whatever amount of, of tokens you have in your wallet. So if you have the exact amount and you're trying to buy that same exact amount, it's not gonna go through. So if I have exactly 120 million, just bump that, I don't know, a random number one, right? Just drop it down 10 million or 1 million and then mint it. And it it should go through. Those of you that, um, or if, if y'all decide to get into scale and all that, I know some of y'all will probably bump into that issue because I know some other ones did. But as of right now, since yesterday's live stream, we managed, uh, I think during the live stream, this was like 250 billion. 24 hours later, the community has now bumped it up to almost 333 billion. I did send out a tweet saying there is going to be a giveaway, by the way, thanks to uh, Baby Dragon X team and James and all of them. Uh, there will be a giveaway soon. I, I think I'm going to make the video tomorrow or Monday. I'll choose a winner. So stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter for me so, so you can know what to do to be eligible. Okay. Um. But I did send out a tweet saying that if this hits 500 billion, give or take by tomorrow, I kind of want to push it one more extra day. But if this hits 500 billion by tomorrow, the giveaway is going to double. So that's still like out there. It's not confirmed. It's not yet 100%. But as of right now, it's, uh, it's based off of a one set amount. I haven't announced it yet. But if that hits 500 billion, it would be really cool if they approve it and they say, yes, let's do twice the giveaway. And that would be freaking amazing. It still has two days and 17 hours with 30 minutes. The fact that we can get there will still be freaking phenomenal. Um, I'm not going to cover the whole white paper and what scale really is. I made a whole live stream with James if you want to go watch it. Or you can just go onto their white paper and just skim through it, look at it. But right now minting is the alpha right now like big whales of dragon x and a few, a few volt con uh, addresses that i watched are getting into this as well that's why the number jumped up so big a lot of big whales are hopping onto scale it's definitely one of those that i don't want to miss out um i already looked through the white paper i already talked to the devs I already talked to the team you know they convinced me and i like what they are trying to do i see potential in it and but i mean take it as a grain of salt you know that's what i think is going to happen that's what i like about the token scale you know it's just going to grow pretty much in your portfolio you're going to let you're going to see your tokens grow um and overall man it, it's it's a good project in my opinion okay as always not financial advice but this video is already 14 minutes long if you're still here click the like button subscribe comment down below anything it helps the algorithm out i'll be seeing you tomorrow in the next video take it easy i'm out peace